The Clark County deputy is on the wrong side of the law tonight, facing drug charges after an undercover sting. In this cruiser cam video just into our newsroom, you can see Deputy Amanda Nichols sitting in the back seat. She was arrested in Springfield on Saturday after police say she bought prescription pills from an undercover officer. Immediately, Nichols knows she's in trouble. At this point, Nichols is on administrative leave. Megan O'Rourke is live to tell us what led to her arrest. Michelle Sheriff Gene Kelly tells me Nichols has been under investigation for the last two months. That's when his office first received a tip that she was illegally purchasing and using prescription drugs. 37-year-old Amanda Nichols wipes tears from her eyes as she stands in court Monday morning and pleads not guilty to a drug possession charge. Nichols, a Clark County Sheriff's deputy, was arrested on Saturday after officials say they received a tip prompting a two-month-long investigation. That probe involved several other police agencies, including the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office Range Task Force, and came to a head this weekend. Our deputy uh, did make a phone call and request to purchase prescription medications that were not prescribed to her. Sheriff Kelly says Nichols drove to a Springfield home and bought 60 Vicodin pills for $120. After she left, uniformed officers pulled Nichols over and placed her under arrest. We want to let the people of Clark County know that when we receive a complaint, it is investigated thoroughly. And we utilized all resources available through other agencies to make sure that this investigation was complete. Nichols has been with the Clark County Sheriff's Office for five years. Before that, she worked for Tremont City Police and served in the United States Navy. The sheriff says it's disappointing to have a deputy break the law, but is proof that prescription pill abuse is a serious problem. This just, again, brings to light that this epidemic crosses all boundaries and socioeconomic factors um, and even touches law enforcement who are sworn to serve and protect their community. Now Nichols is currently out of jail on bond but scheduled to be back in court next week on the 29th for another hearing. If found guilty, she faces up to 18 months behind bars. The sheriff says as far as work, Nichols will not face any disciplinary action until after the legal proceedings are finished. Reporting live, Megan O'Rourke, 2 News on your side.